Let's make block number three with Moda Blockheads 5 quilt along. Now I will have the links down below in the description if you would like to follow along as well. But short recap, yes I did skip video for block number two because I sadly changed up the pattern. I did somehow follow uh, Joanne Figueroa by doing ribbon flying geese only instead of all of those half square triangles which I will have Figueroa's blog post about it linked down below in the description. Uh, Joanne Figueroa does two versions which are ribbon flying geese and regular flying geese. Now I was going to make a written pattern of how I personally put it all together by using only the ribbon flying geese but someone did email me saying that would kind of be in poor taste to do so since it isn't my pattern and it was somebody else's pattern which I totally get, so we are not going to do it. And he, from here on out, I am going to 100% stick to whatever the Moda Blockheads post, and I'm gonna just suck it up and do it how it's pieced. But anyways, moving forward, let's go ahead and start with block number three. Now here I have cut all my pieces out for the 12 inch block and also laid everything out shown here. Now first up we are going to sew our four patch blocks together with a quarter inch seam allowance by sewing blocks together into rows and then lastly the two rows into our four patch. And then you're just going to repeat this to all of your four corners. And then next we are now going to sew the star portion of the block by first sewing two smaller triangles together with a quarter inch seam allowance and then sew our pieced half square triangles to our print half square triangle and that's it. Now just be careful with these areas because we are sewing on the bias so it is a little bit stretchy. But all you're just going to do is repeat these three more times and now we are ready to sew all of our blocks together by sewing them into rows and then lastly sewing the rows together to complete our 12 inch quilt block. And what can I say, I loved this quilt block so much that I actually made two. So here's the second one, which is pieced 100% the same way, but my color placement is actually slightly different and it gives us a totally new look, which I love so much. But moving forward, let's go ahead and make the six inch version. But moving forward, let's now make the six inch version. So here are all my fabrics once again laid out. And first we are going to sew our corner four patch squares together with a quarter inch seam allowance. And we're going to sew those two together to form rows. And then lastly, sew the rows together to complete our four patch. And then next we are going to sew the star portion of this block and we're going to once again sew the two smaller triangles together with a quarter inch seam allowance and then our pieced half square triangles to the print or in my case a solid half square triangle and that's it. So just repeat that three more times and now we're once again ready to sew all our blocks together by first sewing them into rows and then lastly sew the rows together to complete our six inch version quilt block. And here is the six inch version which was actually super easy to put together for myself. And I ended up making the block three more times. I know I love it and I got very carried away this week. And they all look totally different which is what I love even though it's the same exact block. So I found this week really fun to do and I do hope you have enjoyed this quick block tutorial and once again I will have all of the links to the free block pattern down below in the description plus a link to that blog post for technically should have been last week's video. But if you could please hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.